Google DeepMind released an experimental model, Gemini-EXP-1114, that tops this community-driven leaderboard of AI models. It's overtaken ChatGPT's 4.0 and 0.1 models and ranks ahead of Grok, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and other AI models. It's taken the top ranking for categories such as math, creative writing, hard prompts, and vision, as well as the third spot, jumping from number five in coding. We'll test this out by navigating to aistudio.google.com and on the right in this panel here under model, click the drop down to choose the experimental model. You have to scroll down a bit and we find it here under preview. I started testing this out with some prompts and it behaved in an unexpected manner. I asked, is 400 80% of 500? And it returned an error. Then I asked the next question, what is the best way to discipline a pet rock with bad behavior? I assumed it would just answer this prompt, but instead it went back and answered the first prompt. And it broke down with logic saying, yes, as expected, 400 is 80% of 500. Or the next prompt, it recognizes that rocks aren't alive and don't actually have behavior, but it returns some fun imaginative punishments, including timeout, losing desk privileges, and other punishments. Something I've never seen before, but I don't know if it's the AI model or AI studio. I'm seeing a bunch of internal errors using this experimental model. I switched the model and it seems to run fine. So I'm gonna try cleaning the slate and use this prompt and it looks like it's back to normal again. Okay, so we're gonna take this response, see if it meets the requirements of the prompt. So we'll copy this and then go to wordcounter.net. I trust this word counter. I've counted some input that I've given it. Paste the response in here and it's 53 words. So that's, that's pretty good. I'm satisfied with that. It's apparent why this is still an experimental model. It keeps returning internal errors, but we're going to try giving it system instructions and then rerun it with this prompt. So we're trying to keep it under 250 words. First, we'll look at the content. The target audience looks good. Value proposition looks good. Marketing channel, that all looks good. So let's take all of this, copy it, and then we'll go to our word counter and paste it in here. 159 words, that's well under 250. I'm running the prompt again, but this time we're giving it a range between 200 and 250 words. It's giving us the target audience, individuals, frequent travelers, credit card maximizers, value proposition, consolidating loyalty accounts, never miss a point, nor an expiration, marketing channels. It still looks like it's under 250 words. So let's go to our word counter website and paste it in here. Well, it is under 250 words, but it falls within the range. I can't conclude absolutely that it's an issue with the experimental model or if it's an issue with AI Studio, but it looks to be an issue with the model itself because I don't see the internal errors with other models. So just remember that the model is still in experimental mode. They're looking for feedback and testing. If you want to test this experimental model from Google DeepMind, take this line of code and initialize the generative model. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.